okay so sir before the interview i was pretty much sure that i can dry run a program easily if i have to explain it so i can explain properly but i am not able to explain in the like i am explaining in the interview part so i i was not explain it i i thought that i could but i wasn't this is the main part okay awesome so yeah uh, let me take it from this point so yeah um, i'll first introduce myself and then uh, you can go ahead uh, about your introduction okay sure so myself shubham i graduated from iit roorkee and uh, then i worked in couple of startup and mnc i started my journey from oyo as a software developer and uh, then i worked there for 2 years on a primarily on a front end development part on the react js as a major tech stack then i moved to an early stage startup and then uh, the recent experience that i hold is of service now uh, that is an MN us based mnc and uh, yeah uh, the profile i had been throughout as a react developer and uh, apart from that i am pretty much involved in the competitive programming i am uh, quite active on the lead code and other uh, places so yeah that's a quick summary about me would you like to give a brief about yourself yeah sure sir So as you know myself Sunil Salucha I am from Amroha Uttar Pradesh and I am currently pursuing my BTech from Computer Science from St Andrews Institute of Technology and Management Gurgaon and I am in final year right now okay. I have been consistently performed well in my CAT mix I have got an aggregation of 82.7 percentage in my BTech till now and okay. also I have done minor projects on html css and javascript okay so what was uh, if we talk about one particular aspect which has been the most complex or something that took a lot of your time or a lot of your brainstorming so what was that particular aspect here sir actually to calculate the score at the end of all the quiz when calculate a user is using okay. all the questions and at the end score okay what was the complex part there in evaluating the scores actually sir I have made a static website in the first year, so I was not that much aware with the dynamic website how how to interact. Interact. Okay. So okay. I have used JavaScript here. So okay. to use the functions of JavaScript and to use DOM in the JavaScript document object model, that was a bit little bit challenging for me. Okay. By the way, it's uh, pronounced as DOM, uh, document object model. Okay. Awesome. Okay, no issues, no issues. Shall we? Okay. Um, can you do one thing? Uh, yes, can sir. you share your in, uh, screen and open the interview pad? Let's uh, start with some of the DSA question. Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. So uh, let's. Okay. First of all, I wanted to know like which is your favorite data structure and uh, yeah, which is your favorite data structure that you are most comfortable and you really like solving the problem in. Sir, Eddie. Eddie. Okay. Uh, so let's start with one of the array problem. Um, the problem is uh, called missing positive integer. Okay. So what is the expectation here? Uh, so you will be given an array. Okay. This will this could have a positive, negative, and it will be an unsorted. That means it is a natural form of array. Nothing is specific here. Okay. So if I take an example. Uh, One, five, four, two, three, and uh, maybe four. Let's say, uh, but I should change it to something like that. There could be even duplications also. So um, let's suppose something like this is present. Okay. Okay, sir. So now my question here is that I need to find the first. Okay, I should write better write as first missing positive integer. so that's what you have to say that okay with from one what is the first integer which is missing so example in this case one is present yes sir two is also present yes, three sir. is present and four is also present so your output in this case will be five you got the idea yes sir okay so uh, so yeah uh, this is the whole uh, problem here we have to find the first missing So you code in which language? Sir so Java. Okay. You will be given uh, an array, 
and you will be completing this but uh, maybe take a minute or two and let's discuss the approach and so on and then we can go ahead with the coding part okay yes sir so we can do sorting here first of all okay okay so uh, what do you think is the time complexity and the space complexity of this uh, solution so time complexity like if i am using sorting then it will be if i am using bubble sort then it will be different and if, if i am using much sort then it will be o of n log n if i am okay. using much sort and then fir again then again to check the elements it will be o o of n so total it will be o of n log n into o of n if i am using much sort sorry can you write it uh, there yes sure sure sir so now Uh, can you justify the, why it is going to be big O of n log n into n? It why? Be so n. you understand that for each element you will be sorting. This yes, is what sir. this time complexity is telling. Do yes, you really sir. have to do that part? For each element you have to sort, or you have to sort and then you have to just loop down to each element. I have element. to sort firstly and then. So, don't you think that it should be n log n plus? plus yes, sir. Yes, sir. It should I not be a it. multiplication. Yes, sir. Can you correct that part, please? Yes, sir. Sure. So, like this. Yeah. Arey, you agree, right? What is what was the wrong thing that done? It's not be merely I'm saying then. That's yes, sir. I got it. Yes, sir. Okay. ठीक है. The real challenge with a company yes, will be looking within you is that whether you are a good problem solver is not about what you have memorized, but what is something that you can think from your own brain. That's it. You know that uh, that uh, if I have to insert a particular uh, node in the linked list at a particular index, then I have to traverse through yes, the linked list, right? And uh, what is the time complexity, by the way, in that case? Uh, in the worst case, it will be O of n if we are inserting at the end. Okay, take it. Uh, now uh, the problem is bit different. It's more of yes. uh, finding the cycle in the linked list. The one again, very common one. Okay. So um, the idea here is that uh, there is a cycle present. Okay. There is a cycle present at point three. I want to know uh, verbally only. How do you think you can uh, uh, know what is the initial point of the cycle? If uh, if I tell you that uh, the first one is the head one, uh, so three yes, is pointing sir. to four. Four yes, is sir. pointing to five. Okay, five is uh, pointing to six, and six is again okay, pointing okay. to three. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So yeah, uh, just wanted to know your approach on uh, how do you think that you can uh, find uh, this uh, initial point of three. Sir, we can take two pointers i and j, and okay. we can start from head itself. That is one, and okay. we can increase the one pointer like j by two and i by one, and okay. and after the certain time when they meet, that was the point of the. That was the actual point where the cycle is happening. Okay. Uh, what do you know about the acid property uh, in the database? So acid, okay. Acid yeah. property. Yeah. Yeah. Acid property. Yes, sir. A stands for atomicity, C consistency, I isolation, and D durability. And ato atomicity means that either the transaction will done completely or nothing will happen. It is atomicity. That part is good. Uh, so why do you think that we need the norm? We need to normalize the tables in the database. Okay, so to remove redundancy. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, um, I think I'm done from my side. Um, so yeah, uh, you have some questions. I think uh, I'll quickly move to you. You have any particular thing from me to us? Yes, sir. Some feedback if you can give. Okay, me. so first of all, we will give you very detailed feedback in yes, two working sir. days. Uh, the quick one that I can say is uh, something that uh, I I'm not okay. Uh, to few of the points, I'm okay because it could be because of different reasons. But few of the things which I'm not okay is that uh, the 
brainstorming thing is uh, something you have to really work on you cannot be relying on the brute force approach um the next thing is like from the uh, project perspective you were good okay Okay, um coming to the uh, cs fundamental part i think you were really good on the database part and um, yeah i can say that on the overall uh, outlook and the professionalism you were good so yes, i'll sir. wish you all the best and i will send you the detailed feedback okay sure sir yes thank you Shall so much thank sir. you thank you